Hey guys, it's Carrie here from Carrie Love Cat, and I have a project share for you today. These are awesome file boxes that I've gone ahead and decoupaged, and these are both going away in giveaways tomorrow. So I wanted to do a quick video to share them, just in case somebody else wanted to um, give it a try. So basically, this is a great answer to your teenage child's problems <laughs> of, well I guess not problems, but desires to like tack celebrities all over their walls. You can totally get some of these cool, and they weren't very expensive, I don't remember how much they were, maybe like seven bucks or something from Michael's, these little file things, and they can go ahead and decoupage the boxes up. Um, now, the celebrities I love are the Golden Girls, so I'm going to go ahead and show you this. And this is also a really fun way to do a gift box. Or if you have old boxes laying around that aren't these wooden um, file boxes, you can go ahead and just decoupage them up too. And then you don't have to use wrapping paper. It's kind of fun. Um, so if you really want to be green, you can get a couple of these and give them out, you know, at Christmas or something and then tell everybody to give them back to you throughout the year, like for your birthday or whatever. So, you know, you'd put a present in here, put a present in here and give it to my mom and then tell my mom that, you know, she would re-gift the box or whatever. But I hope that made sense. Anyway, to the boxes. So, um, what I did was I used some pattern paper here and um, I actually did a photo collage for our staff lounge where I asked everybody to bring in their favorite celebrity. So these were some of mine. This is who I chose as my favorite celebrities. And um, so I had some of these pictures left over, but these are just from the internet. And then I kept the side of the box clean. And then here we have Big B. Arthur and Big Betty Davis. And again, some just, all I did was I ripped up some pattern paper that looked kind of 1980s-ish to me, like their kitchen. And I did use some Tim Holtz Distress Ink, and these are some articles from, like, my husband gets these actor magazines. I don't know why he gets them for free, but I always take them and cut them up and use them for stuff. Um, and that's what this picture is from. I wanted a giant picture of the Golden Girls, and I think I'm going to do another one with that. But anyway, I had Betty White, so she fit. And then, again, along the edges, just some more paper. And then along the sides here, I didn't cover the whole side. I left some of the wood showing just because I like that look. Like lets the let it lets it breathe a little bit for me. But I know some people like to totally cover it. So that's a pretty iconic um, picture of them in the kitchen. And then for the back, I just mod podge some paper. And then you know they have this side over here. Hold on a minute. There we go. Okay. So that's the Golden Girls. And then I also made another one. And <laughs> I need to stop saving stuff out of magazines because I save all this stuff. And then I'm like, what do I do with it? But I end up making projects out of it. So I recently saw Mad Men for the first time, and I loved it. I had no idea what some of the storylines were, but I thought it was really, really interesting. And I really loved, like, the furniture and the clothes and everything. It was very cool. Um... So I am a John Hamm fan, and of course, Bridesmaids and everything. And so I, I saved this because I know other people that are fans. And I was thinking about making some kind of Christmas decoration out of it. And I just had enough that I thought, well, maybe I'll just use it on the box. So this is, of course, from Rolling Stone. And I put some more, some masculine-looking pattern paper here. And I just kind of ripped it and distressed it. And then I just distressed around here, and I just Mod podge it straight on. Now, the thing with the Mod Podge is it's going to wrinkle a little bit, but not too bad. And I kind of like that weathered, like, look. Again, I just kept the edges clean here. And then inside, the thing I love about these boxes is you can also use them. I don't know how much shadow boxes are, but these are way cheaper. You could totally use this as a shadow box. Um, you could set it up like this or, you know, anything. You can even line all these up in your room, you know, like for your teenager. So, you know, you can save the walls, save the tacks and the glue on the walls. <laughs> Maybe kids don't do that anymore. Maybe that was like my generation. But anyway, so here I have some more pattern paper, some um, articles from the magazine. And then down here, the reason I put it down here is you wouldn't see it. I didn't really know what else to put 
there were some pictures in Rolling Stone, so I guess he played football, basketball, or what is that? Not basketball. Baseball. Um, but I don't really care about that. I just cared about the, the Mad Men pictures. And then over here, some more from Rolling Stone. And then we always get invited to these screeners here as we live in the Los Angeles area. So they send out, oh my gosh, so many DVDs, CDs, and invitations to come to this thing and that thing. And um, But they always have cool, well, they don't always, but a lot of times they have cool artworks. This one had a lot of um, Mad Men on it, and so I saved that. And I think, oh, and that's from, that's left over. He was somebody's crush from the staff lounge, too. Somebody's celebrity inspiration. Over here, it says, like, uh, a special event. Yeah, man. So that's an authentic piece of Hollywood. Okay, so the back, I didn't do pattern paper because I had this other big picture of him with, I guess, is that his wife or his girlfriend? I don't know who that is. But um, I like her red shoes with the stockings. That's a good look. But anyway, so I put that on the back. And these are just really fun to decorate up, to, to decoupage. I like that they're sturdy and they're made out of wood. I like that you can um, recycle. Oh, I forgot the inside of it. Here is him. And I just added a card and some baseball. I don't know if he's playing with the cards there. But... Um, what was I saying? So anyway, they're just really fun, and you could totally use um, Prima papers and do flowers. I'm not a very flowery girl. I don't use a lot of flowers in my stuff. Um, went through a huge flower phase in my life, but now I'm out of it. Now I'm into this whole minimalist thing. If you follow me on Instagram, it's minimalist right now. Usually I like something, and then I like it, like it, like it, like it, and then I'm over it. So I don't know how long it's going to last, but it's happening right now. Um, but anyway, this is just fun gift boxes, shadow boxes. I mean, you could do anything with a box. And, and if you wanted to put it in your office as like an inbox or something, so cute to do, right? Or maybe if you like worked at a school, you could put like the class picture on it. I don't know. Kind of fun. So anyway, ladies, that's my project share. And again, I just wanted to share these before they went off in the mail. And um, yeah, I, um, I usually delete. After I do giveaways, I usually go back and delete them. I don't know why. I just feel like I like, you know, I feel bad if somebody comes and gets excited for a giveaway that's over. So sometimes I go back, even though I write clothes, a lot of times I'll delete them. So anyway, this, this I wanted to film. And I have a couple other projects that I'm going to be um, putting up soon. I have a bunch of projects for... Christmas in July. I know it's just June 1st, but I'm already doing my Christmas in July stuff because I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And thank you guys for watching and have fun decoupaging this summer. Love you girls. Bye.